A small residential and equestrian community nestled in the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains. Tonight, our Desmond Shaw is taking a look at the city of Bradbury and the history of its amazing mm -hmm. homes and landscapes. We'll take a look at this community at the base of the San Gabriel Mountains. This is Bradbury, and it's one of, if not the most exclusive community in L.A. County. Only about 1,000 people live here. Almost every home is on at least an acre of land. A lot of homes sit on a lot more land than that. This was all founded by Lewis Leonard Bradbury in 1881 after he bought 2,700 acres from the Rancho Azusa de Duarte homestead. Bradbury made most of his money in gold and silver mining. He also built the famous Bradbury building in downtown L.A. that uh, protected historic landmark. Well, when he passed away, his family actually lost control of the entire ranch during the Great Depression. Uh, it fell into bank foreclosure, and the massive ranch was subdivided into all of these smaller lots. And the entire San Gabriel Valley was growing by leaps and bounds after World War II. And th th actually, the city of Monrovia attempted to annex Bradbury into their municipality. Well, that is when uh, homeowners here decided that they needed to finally incorporate into their own city. And they actually rushed to make sure that they could do it on the same day that neighboring Duarte incorporated because they were afraid that Duarte was also going to try try to uh, swallow them up. So this area has been very popular with celebrities looking to get away from it all. Also been popular with baseball stars like Adrian Beltre that have had homes here. Race car drivers like Mickey Thompson. Lindsay Snyder, the heir to the delicious In-N-Out fortune, also had a, a very cool home here. But the one that has always caught my eye here is at the very top known as the Bradbury Estate on eight acres of land. This was built by real estate mogul Donald Abbey. I've always taken note of the massive cross-shaped pool. So it took eight years to build this home, and Abbey uh, attempted to sell it for $78 million. Well, it languished on the market for six years and sold for uh, the bargain basement price of only $24 million. Got to tell you, if I was a Powerball jackpot winner, this is probably where I would be turning my attention to. Certainly the place to look for anyone looking for a huge home on a massive spread of land, the beautiful town of Bradbury off the 210 freeway. Taking a look at this from Sky Cow, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.